My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you, but has great value to me and the dogs that I'll be rescuing in the future once I get my rescue and sanctuary up and running. So I wanted to go into a video real quick to kind of show you an update. Now this is part three of the uh, trading video um, that I've made specifically for this trading universal trading style strategy, however you want to call it. Um, and, uh, the last couple ones, you know, I did six trades, seven, eight trades, I believe. Uh, no, I did eight, eight, eight total six in the last couple videos, um, that I showed you, uh, that were all wins. Well, so now moving in, you know, obviously you can see the Fibonacci that I, that I drew from last time. This is where I started trading on, uh, for these videos. And now we are here. So it obviously did an, a downswing from the last trade I did, and that was on the 10th. So it was like 14 days ago, it was like two weeks ago. Um, it went down. I didn't see anywhere for me to buy in anywhere. Obviously, for the for, you know, I just kept watching it on a daily basis. Didn't see anywhere to come in. Obviously, everything was under the red, huge. Um, and then it came over, and then once it popped up over this red, and I'll try to zoom in as much as I can on the four-hour chart. Right, I popped in right here. I went from the four hour chart down to the one hour chart, down to the five minute chart, and I basically bought in right there because everything was kind of showing me that it was a good buy signal. Now, the MACD was just kind of kissing and I wasn't really crossing over, but um, I felt that this bar was strong enough for me to move in and basically where it was on, um, not on the Fibonacci, but basically on the red and the blue. Uh, you know, looked like it was still possibly, more than likely not, on its way up from this big downfall so it could have been you know basically just a trap you know down sideways and then up they consider that a trap someone's walking in and they fall into a trap so um that didn't happen and this is what happens obviously when you're doing trades you know it, you're gonna have a lot of good trades and then you're gonna have every now and then you know it just didn't work out for you it just the percentages were in your favor but the other percentage took over and, and actually made it this time so um it went up it went down i put a stop loss down here two bucks i'm playing the two to four ratio instead of the one to two um and i i bought out right there or i sold out right there and i lost so that i mean it, it happens right so it broke down this blue one and as you can see it it's now in a sell point so i'm watching it i'm watching it i'm watching it i'm watching it i'm making sure that it crosses over the red i'm making sure it breaks the blue and the next one that started, I basically bought in right here just because it was so far away from the red and it broke the blue and I had a buy line on here. So just another spot that said, hey, you know, looks good to get in. So go ahead and get in. So I did. Now, obviously, it went sideways right here and everyone says, you know, or asks, you know, you know, you know, get ready to sell out. Well, you know, I watched it. I watched it. It didn't break the red. It didn't break the blue. The next this one happened and boom, it just it just skyrocketed out. And that's basically the main point is basically setting yourself up in a good spot. So when the market does decide to go up, you're going up. But if down over here, if the market decides to go down, it's going to go down. So you just put your stop loss in or at least be prepared to, uh, to sell out on your two to four ratio. So just stick to the criteria. And normally it's going to work out more times than not. That's the basically the name of the game. Just like the casino, keep your probabilities in your favor and it's going to happen more times than not. So moving in to this last trade that I just did and uh, I sold out, uh, I believe it was on this bar right here, but this was the point. Basically, I told myself that if it was going to cross this point, I'm out. I'm comfortable with having it. It was $6, I believe. So 165 to 172, 171. Um, in, in between there. So it was like six something that I made off that trade for one Ethereum. So just think about that if I had 10 Ethereum, you know, or 20 <coughs> or even 100. So I sold out there. So I bought in there. I waited for it to, here, let me zoom in so everyone can kind of see. Um, I bought in there. I waited. I waited. Didn't break the blue. Actually shot up over the red. So obviously it's so far away from the red and the blue that it's causing a wave basically a power play. It's going up, it's going up. You know, that's the buy signal right there. So it's going up. So I gave it a chance to basically do its work uh, in my favor based on the probabilities. And this time it actually worked compared to the last time. 
um, which is that trade right here. Real short trade, but that's what happens sometimes. And I sold out right there. And now look what happened. It broke here. Now, a lot of people would say, oh, it went over the red and it went over the blue, just like you said. Why didn't you buy in here? Well, it went over the red on this green bar here, green candle. The next one turn was red, right? There was a fight in here, but it was red and nothing was telling me to buy in, you know, right here with the MACD. Um, you know, I was looking at the RSI as well, and it was still kind of in the middle here. So there's nothing was really helping me out on my determinations on whether to get in or out. And the main point on this with this Fibonacci, right, is there's the halfway point, right? And again, on Fibonacci, halfway point means nothing. So 618 is actually a real Fibonacci cousin number. So looking at that, it, you know, it, it, it was kind of just holding right there. Didn't know if it was going to break or not. So people are kind of hesitant to see if it's going to be on an upward trend and cause more data to go up. It did not on 618. It's, it's a cousin number, kind of like I was saying. It you, kind of acts as a resistant uh, support line at these, at these, you know, at these points. So, it, you know, if they run into correlation basically on the last high point to the last low point, you know, you, that's why I had to change the Fibonacci here. This was the last high point. Now it was the last low point. And then it changed. Now that's the last high point. And now that's the last low point and it went back up. So you got to consider that a low point. You got to consider that the new high point. So, um, uh, so once that's in there, right? 618 is basically the line is what everyone's kind of looking at, you know, as far as futures traders go, um, day traders, professionals, they, they're all looking at this going, is it going to go up more? Because if it does, then it's a good spot to go in, especially as the 786 becomes a new resistance support line um, if it's considered breaking it. Well, actually, like you, like, like you can see, it did not. It, it was just kind of resisting and struggling right here to actually break that 618 line. And now it just it just caused a sell-off, apparently. Um, not because of the 618 line, but it's just basically relative to saying nobody believes that it's going to, to get a new high from here. Um, even to go up back up to here. No one believes that it's going to. So therefore, you know, seems it was caused to a rally of sell points to sell out. So now I'm just waiting again. Um, it's coming into a new phase uh, of my swing trades between these two green vertical lines. So um, I'm waiting. So at this point, it's way far down underneath the blue. It's, you know, the red's coming down to meet with the candles or the, you know, candles got to come up to meet with the red and the blue or blue. And the MACD is dramatically dropped down to the zero bar, which is kind of a good indicator that it's good to watch now. Now it's time to look, to watch things and see if there's a good spot over here to buy in. So, uh, you know, other things that I consider, obviously, is the um, sentimental analysis. Greed today, 65. Yesterday, 68. Even though with that 68 sentiment analysis, we had this go on yesterday and the day before and, and probably two days back. So um, that's things that I look at, sentiment analysis, you know, your technical analysis, your fundamental analysis, and of course, what's going on in the market at the moment. So 176 billion, I believe. Um, and uh, Bitcoin's at 5,400 and Ethereum's going down pretty darn hard. So it's at 163. So um, that's all for today. Uh, my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and uh, it has no value to you. It has great value to me. You guys keep up the grind.